The National Police of Ukraine Ukrainian, Nacionalna Policia Ukraini Nacionalna Policia Ukraini, commonly shortened to police Ukrainian, Policia Policia, is the national, and the only, police service of Ukraine. It was formed on 3 July 2015, as part of the post-Euromaidan reforms launched by Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko, to replace Ukrainians' previous national police service, the Militsia. On 7 November 2015 all the remaining Militsia were labeled temporary acting members of the National Police. The agency is overseen by the Ministry of Internal Affairs. History Prior to 3 July 2015, law enforcement in Ukraine was carried out directly by the Ministry of Internal Affairs as the Militsia. Plans to reform the ministry, which was widely known to be corrupt, had been advocated by various governments and parties, but these plans were never realized. In the aftermath of the 2013 2014 Euromaidan movement and subsequent revolution, the need for reform was acknowledged by all parties. Parliamentary elections were held in October 2014, after which all five of the parties that formed the governing coalition pledged to reform the ministry and create a new national police service. As part of the reforms, the Minister of Internal Affairs, Arsen Avakov, presented plans to reduce the number of police officers in Ukraine to 160,000 by the end of 2015. The reform plans started with the combination of the ministry's current state auto inspection and the patrol service in the country's capital Kiev in summer 2015. This new police patrol received funding from various countries. 2,000 new policemen and women, picked from 33,000 applicants, were recruited to initiate the new service in Kiev. Officers were American trained. Upon the launch of Kiev's new patrol police on 4 July 2015, the Militsia ceased all patrolling but continued working at precincts and administrative offices. After that the new police patrol was rolled out across Ukraine. The organization was formally established as the National Police on 2 September 2015. By late September 2015, 2,000 new constables were on duty in Kiev, 800 were on duty in Kharkiv and 1,700 were on duty in the cities of Odessa and Lviv. At this point, the militia was 152,000 officers strong, and continued to handle most policing across Ukraine. The basic salary of the new police force almost $400 a month is about three times as much the basic salary of the former militia, an attempt to decrease corruption. The new national police officially replaced the old militia on 7 November 2015. On that day, the remaining militia were labeled temporarily acting members of the national police. The change allowed for them to become members of the national police after integrity checks but they were only eligible if they met the age criteria and went through retraining. This transition period ended on 20 October 2016. In this transition period 26% of police commanders were dismissed and 4,400 policemen and policewomen demoted and the same number of people promoted. <laughs> Topic. Terminology According to Professor Alexander Ponomarev of the Kiev University's Institute of Journalism, the correct Ukrainian language term for a police officer is politsiant. Politsiant. This is in contrast to the term politsiski, politsiski a loan word from the Russian language, commonly used to refer to an officer of the national police. Ranks are rarely used by the public when addressing police officers in Ukraine. It is more common to hear the term pan, pan female, pani, pani Ukrainian for Mr. Miss, used to refer to police officers. Qualifying terms such as ofitser, officer or politsyski, politsyski may also be used in conjunction with these forms of address. Topic: <laughs> Structure and branches. The National Police is divided into a number of different services. Each force has internal subdivisions. This leaves the police service with a large number of specialized branches which can more specifically target certain types of crime and apply more expert knowledge in the investigation of cases relating to their area of policing. In addition to these specific groups, all police forces retain a majority of officers for the purpose of patrol duty and general law enforcement. The police contains the following subdivisions. 
Criminal police Kriminalna policia investigation and prevention of serious and violent crime in Ukraine Department in fight against drug related crime Department of Cyber Police Kyberpolicia Department Kyberpolici fighting against cyber crimes Department of Economic Security Department of Patrol Police Patrolna Policia General Law Enforcement Operations Traffic Policing and Patrol Duty includes riot police divisions Number of Municipal Administrations Department of Police Security Policia Ahoroni successor to the State Security Service nothing to do with the State Security Administration In addition the following special units exist Special Police Specialna Policia tasked with keeping order in areas with special status and or affected by natural or ecological disaster Rapid Operational Response Unit Cord Corpus Operative No Raptivoi D Tactical Response Unit tasked with resolution of standoff situations involving hostages and or heavily armed suspects also tasked with providing a tactical support function to other divisional officers Pre-trial investigative services Organi dosudavogo Rosljuvana representatives of the National Investigative Bureau tax authorities and security services tasked with investigating crime Topic. Shoulder patches of the regional police subdivisions Topic. Rank hierarchy Topic. Equipment Officers wear a camera that is constantly monitoring their performances. The resulting videos are posted on social media and broadcast on a reality TV show. Topic: Vehicles. Topic: See also. Law enforcement in Ukraine. Internal troops of Ukraine. National Guard of Ukraine Kiev Police